Right before I drive away to forget Why do I give a damn at everything we say up? G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles. Alright, so I've kind of held off on this video. I've been getting asked to do videos on the food in prison and um, I've been holding off because I thought that I actually had some um, some old menu slips and some old um, canteen lists. So I thought I'd be able to take photos of them for you and but I could not find them. I'm sure I've got them somewhere. But um, yeah, let's we'll just get into it anyway. All right, so food in food in prison, um, as a whole, like most most prisons have not too bad food. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's certain prisons that everyone knows has got shit food, and that would be Port Phillip Prison. So Port Phillip Prison has pretty pretty shit uh, food. Um, the best thing they do though is they do steam chickens. So. Um, Basically, every jail you go to, every prison you go to will have a menu system where you have four choices. So they will have like um, a vegetarian choice for the people that are vegetarian. Um, of late, there you can get vegan meals and gluten-free and stuff like that. But you will generally get four choices, a vet, one with that's just veggies, one that will have meat in it and... Um, you can get a salad and then you can also get a steam chicken. They send up, um, I think it's like 15 or 20 steam chickens to each unit every night. And then you can get items from the canteen. And then if you know someone in the kitchen, you can get items from the kitchen too. And, um, and then you can make your own meal with them chickens. You know, you can get like veggies and stuff like that, pasta and things like that. Um, and you know, everywhere knows what what prisons got the worst food and what's which prisons got the best food. And the best food out of all of Victorian prisons would either be um, the Map or um, Barwon. I I would say in, that's that's what I believe, and I reckon a lot of people would agree with me there. So the Map do this dessert that's just the best. It's like a cream bun. <laughs> it's pretty funny dessert for prison but anyway um if you get the drug but anyway um yeah it's a it's a cream bun and they're pretty they're pretty fucking mad i love them and um yeah so they do them and and also most prisons um used to do desserts every single night um but then they got all these dietitians in because a lot of the prisoners were getting fat all the time and then they stopped the desserts to either like three nights a week or just on the weekend um, you know, Barwon's got pretty, pretty good food. Most of the long-termers, the people that are doing a lot of years go to Barwon. So I find they've got pretty good food there. And, um, yeah, they've got a pretty good canteen there too. Um, so canteen items, you know, is generally most prisons, you can only go to the canteen once a week. I know that some of the medium security prisons, you can go to the canteen whatever day you want. Um, I know Lodden, I think they do something like that as well. Um, and I think Barwon, you can do it three days a week. The canteen's open three days a week. Um, and then at some prisons, they also do bag buys, so they don't have a canteen at all. So they do, but you will order it all, and then you put your ca your canteen form in, and then it will come in a bag, and then you come and you know check to see if all your items are in there, and then you get your bag of canteen now barwon has probably got the best canteen out of all the prisons i would say um you know you can get stuff like um seafood packs at barwon you can get chicken kievs on the canteen um meat packs you can buy meat packs um and also i didn't mention they've also got with when you get your meals at in prison you can get if you're a halal like if you're a Muslim, you can get halal meals, and if you are a um, if you are Jewish, you can get um, Jewish meals. Um, and then they also do as well. So like they do like um, 
Waitangi Day for the um, for the Pacific Islanders, and I believe that, that they do a hungi, one of those things where they dig a hole in the ground and make awesome food. Um, and then you've got um, um, NADOC, NADOC Week, where the, the Kuris, the Aboriginals, um, I've been to that a couple of times and that the maddest food. So I tried crocodile, believe it or not. I tried crocodile for my first time in prison. Um, what else did I eat that day? Emu. Um, crocodile is actually white meat. That really, really surprised me that crocodile is white meat. You would think being like meat eaters and the, the way that they do eat, that it would be red meat, but it's not. Um, so, yeah, canteen items. Um, yeah, seafood packs, meat packs at Barwon. You know, you can buy all cans of drink and or they usually do plastic bottles now, actually. Um, you know, you can buy baked beans, tuna, um, you know, really, really good items. Um, some canteens, like I know at Lodden, they do like one day a week. You can buy thick shakes and milkshakes and stuff like that. Um, there's actually been news articles about Barwon's food and how good that they eat there and people are kicking up stink about it. So, so here's the thing, what a lot of people need to understand. So people's, people are being sent to prison. That, that is their, their, their outcome for their crime. It is not up to the, the prison to then punish them while they're in prison because their punishment is prison so whilst you're in prison i think people have this big misconception that they need to get pun continue to be punished while they're in prison and it doesn't work like that that's not how you're going to rehabilitate somebody let, let me tell you that right now you know but that's what you know it's not it's not up to the jail to punish people while they're in prison and that's the big misconception and you know therefore people should deserve to eat like their their um, religious foods or, you know, they shouldn't just be eating slop like the general public believes that they should and they, they absolutely shouldn't. And, um, yeah, so, like, you know, on the whole, most most prisons have pretty good food. Um, yeah, like I said, Barwon and the map, probably the best food. Um, you know, you, you'll find that you get a lot of chicken, a lot of chicken um, just because it fills up a lot of plate space, I suppose, and a lot of fillers. So you always see a lot of like capsicum and celery and stuff like that, a lot of rice and like there's generally a lot of carbs. That's basically what it comes down to, a lot of carbs. Um, but, yeah, there you go, guys. There's the um, prison foods and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll chuck a little additive on it. Trust me, food outside is a lot better than food inside. So, you know, there's another reason why you should stay out of prison because otherwise you're going to be eating pretty, you know, not shit food, but it's not as good as the outside and that's an absolute fact. All right, guys, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. You guys have been absolutely awesome. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.